So the <clears throat> eShop e is officially gone. Uh, yesterday at around 6 o'clock p.m., um, we got the news that the eShop e is dead. Um, so this video I wanted to kind of take to uh, kind of reminisce um, about the eShop e and also uh, show you what I purchased and also show you what's left. <laughs> um, so the eShop e does still boot up on both consoles, um, still plays the music and everything. Um, but what will happen when you go into it on the Wii U, there's absolutely nothing here. Um, all there is is just, you know, my menu and a little news bulletin saying it is no longer possible to make purchases. Um, you can still go to my menu and you can still re-download stuff. Yeah, look at your downloads here. Um, and on the 3DS, all that remains is my selects. Um... You can't purchase anything in this section. It's basically just an advertisement saying like, hey, you can buy Super Mario Maker for a Nintendo 3DS. The worst possible way to play Super Mario Maker. The software is currently unavailable and that's what it says for all these. So it's basically just, here's stuff that you can get. Um, but that's that's about it for what's on here. But these things were, um, the eShops, the eShops were great. I remember many, many hours spent uh, looking through um, the eShop, specifically the 3DS one. I remember spending hours upon hours upon hours playing, uh, just, just looking through, um, you know, the, the, the music was really great, just looking through sales, looking through certain games I wanted, you know, wishlisting some stuff. Um, it was great. It was really, really great. Uh, like I, you know, it's it's funny. You you gen. I genuinely have a lot of nostalgia for the storefront. Um, I didn't spend nearly as much time on this eShop, the 2DS eShop. I originally had a 3DS before the 2DS, and I spent a lot of time on that. But I still spent a ton of time on this. Um, also, I think I also reset this 2DS after I got it. Yes, I think I did. I think I reset it once. Um, wasn't too long ago though, but I think I did reset it once. Um, but, um, yeah, lots of time spent on these eShops. Um, so let's exit out and I'll show you. So, yeah, um, so I'm going to go ahead and boot up, uh, the, the activity log here and show you how much time I spent on the eShop. Um, and and I think I can also do that on Wii U as well. Um, but if you see here, software library. Ooh, a new title has been added. What is it? Stretchmo. Um, you see that? 23 hours and 21 minutes. So before I reset this 2DS, it was a lot. On my 3DS, it was a lot. Basically what I'm saying is I've probably over... The last 3DS I had, and over this original version before I reset it, I've probably spent probably 50, 60 hours in this, uh, just just browsing. <laughs> um, it was such a it was such a nice marketplace to go into. Um, if you see here, let's see monthly. Well, monthly we've got you know a minute on this eShop. Um, two minutes. We spent a lot of time on the Wii U here. Um, okay, so this really doesn't, I thought it would have like a yearly, um, version, but it doesn't, but, uh, still, yeah, spent a lot of time on the eShop. So, um, first off, something else kind of interesting, um, this, for example, a Nintendo Badge Arcade. Uh, Nintendo Badge Arcade still works. This was a game that was heavily featured on having, it was a, a free-to-play game. And you could put money into it. Um, it still works. Um, everything boots up like normal. But if you try to add money, it acts as if you're not online because the eShop's dead. Um, but what's cool is, you know, all your um, all your icons that you save, they're all here. Um, I got um, I got a lot of uh, <laughs> of Rhythm Heaven uh, 
girls here. <laughs> I try, I tried to get them all, <laughs> um, at least the ones that were available. Um, and then I've got, I've got tons more that I just have lined up back here. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and check out what I bought on the eShop. Uh, some of these were bought very recently. Um, some of these were bought very, very recently um, to, you know, just because I was kind of in a, in a rush. Now, let me turn on some music. There you go. So you've got um, Adventure Island, which is, um, it was weird. I, last year... I kind of got into a weird thing where I just started buying eShop games. Even though it was a full year um, before the eShop was about to close, I was like, oh, I gotta buy this stuff. So Adventure Island, I probably wouldn't buy normally, but I bought. Um, Amiibo Tap, Nintendo's Greatest Bits. Really neat game. Really, really neat game, that one. DK64, uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest, Donkey Kong Country 3, DuckTales Remastered, best version, in my opinion. Earthbound, um, like I said, a lot of these I probably just emulate, but at the time I was just freaking out and I won stuff on Wii U, so I just kind of started buying up random crap, like Final Fight 2. Uh, like, like Game & Wario, uh, I've barely played anything of this game, it's a kind of neat, small minigame collection. Um, Guacamelee, Kid Icarus, Kirby Squeak Squad, Mario Kart 64, Mario Party 2, Mario Super Sluggers, Mario Tennis, Metroid Prime Trilogy, Mini Mario and Friends Amiibo Challenge, that's a fun game. Another free game. Uh, Ninja Gaiden, uh, Nintendo Land, I, uh, Pac-Land, yeah. <laughs> Once I got Pac-Man Museum Plus, that was kind of seen as, you know, whatever, but... Um, here's where we get to some of the more, uh, newer pickups, so, okay, after Paper Mario, Pikmin, Punch-Out, Rayman 3, then Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles, I just bought this, um, on Sunday. Um, I was looking through, uh, Capcom, before the eShop closed for a full month, they had a massive sale where literally everything was $3. Um, so I was picking up Capcom games left and right, and, um, I was trying to look for games, and I found Resident Evil. I'm not a big Resident Evil fan, but I looked it up. This one is a um, on-rails arcade shooter. So I'm like, okay, cool. Runbow, that was also on sale for three bucks, and I went ahead and bought that. Shovel Knight, that was on sale for f uh, for six? Yeah, it was like five forty nine, so six, which is great because it's treasure trove that comes with everything. Uh, Sin and Punishment, Skylanders, Star Fox 64, Mario 3D World, Super Mario 64, Mario Bros. Super Toy Cars, it was on sale whenever I bought it. It's kind of, it's not very good. WarioWare, that's great because I don't have a GBA. And a WarioWare Touched, now that's act this actually works really well um, on the Wii U gamepad. And I can't really emulate it because of the touchpad. So that's actually like a really good inclusion. Uh, Wave Race Yoshi, and another recent one, Zack and Wiki Quest for Barbosa's... Barbosa? That's uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, but Zack and Wiki. And um, that was another really uh, uh, recent one. I was like, ah, oh, it's $3, why not? Um, and then on the 3DS side of things, we have a lot more. There was a lot more games I was actually interested in on 3DS. So we've got um, Cartoon Network Battle Crashers. Um, terrible game, but it was on sale. Donkey Kong, this is recent. Let's go. Uh, Guru, Guru Man 3D, A Monstrous Adventure, was on sale for two bucks, and I thought, yeah, why not, I'll buy it. Harmo Knight, I'm really glad I bought this game before the sale ended. Or not before the sale ended, but before, uh, the eShop closed. Um, Hatsune Miku Project Mirai DX, really great. <laughs> um, physical here, but, um... You know, the physical version is very hard to find. Uh, Jet Rocket 2, uh, a really bad game, but I'm still kind of glad I bought it. I have a lot of good memories of it. Kirby's Block Ball, Kirby's Blowout Blast, Kirby's Dream Land, Kirby's Dream Land 2. Mario and, Mini, uh, Mario and Donkey Kong Minis on the Move, this is a very recent edition. Um, uh, this is a very, very, very recent edition. Uh, I, I, I was really glad to pick that one up. Uh, Mega Man Legacy Collection was three bucks. Uh, this is a recent addition too, my Nintendo uh, Pit Cross. Now I don't really care about this game, 
but I happen to have enough points left. Uh, this thing has stayed on my Nintendo <laughs> ever since it first was created, and it's just been there that entire time, so I thought, well, I'll go ahead and pick it up. Um, Persona Q, this is another recent one. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy, again, $3, which is great. Pokemon Rumble World, Pokemon Shuffle, Rayman, Rayman 3D, Rhythm Heaven Megamix, one of my favorite Rhythm Heaven games. Probably my favorite Rhythm... Eh, I think Rhythm Heaven Fever is better, but Megamix is still great too. Uh, digital only in America. Uh, Rhythm Thief and the Emperor's Treasure. Uh, Sky Piece. Now, this one was interesting. Um, it's $1.00. And whenever I used to look through the 3DS eShop a lot, this one would come up. I would always be like, oh, Sky Piece, it's only $1. I gotta buy it at some point. I never bought it. Um, by the way, um, <laughs> I know where my values lie because I hate that I missed out on Pushmo, but I got Sky Piece. <laughs> yeah, immediately after buying my last game on 3DS, which was this, it was only a dollar. I thought, crap, I should have saved up some money, maybe swap some game around so that I could get Pushmo. But, um, oh well, I missed out on Pushmo, and I really hate that I missed out on it. Sonic Blast, Sonic Boom Fire and Ice, Sonic Boom Shutter Crystal, Sonic Lost World, Stretchmo, which was free. And sadly, I did not get enough money to buy any of the bonuses, so all I have is seven levels. Uh, Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, Super Mario Land, Super Mario Land 2... Oh, Super Street Fighter 4, um, another $3 game. Um, Waku Waku Sweets, this was like two bucks and on sale, so I thought, eh, why not? And Wario Land 2 and Wario Land 3. And then, of course, all the badges. Um, and also some special other stuff, like this Kirby 3D movie, which is really cool. Uh, Metopia Casting Call. Um, Detective Pikachu Demo. Photos with Mario. Flipnote Studio. Lots of great stuff that came out of the uh, 3DS eShop. Um, but that's it. Oh, and of course the themes. Right, 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 right. <laughs> uh, the theme shop uh, The theme shop left along with the eShop. Um, so currently you're seeing a Persona Q theme, which is freaking awesome. It was free, which I'm really glad I picked it up before it went away. Um, but the theme shop went away too. There was a lot of great themes on 3DS, and uh, I'll show off which ones I have. So, uh, there was a Groom in one that was free. I was looking through free ones. Uh, my Nintendo one I decided to get before the service ended. Uh, these are all free. The Radiant Historia, Etrian Odyssey, a couple more my Nintendo ones. There's a Zelda one, Famicom. That one's great. The Sonic uh, 25th Anniversary one. Um, Splatoon, Sonic Boom Shattered Crystal. That one's good. Um, yeah, lots of great stuff on here. Um, but... That is it. That is it for the Nintendo and 3DS eShop. It was great. Um, over 10 years. Great over 10 years. For 3DS, it's been, um, I think, 11 years? No, 12 years. For 3DS, it's been 12 years. And for Wii U, it's been 11. Um, a great over 10 years. Lots of memories. But um, sadly, it's gone. And... You know, Nintendo does what Nintendo does, and if Nintendo wants to shut down a service, they're gonna shut down a service. They're not like Sony, they can't be swayed by public opinion. <laughs> um, well, that is it, so goodbye.